Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Say Yes to Profits podcast. I am Octavia Connor, and today I have a very special guest with me. I have Tiffany, who we also know here at Say Yes to Profits as one of our awesome clients. Tiffany, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for that wonderful intro. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm honored to be your client. Thank you so much. So I wanted to interview you, Tiffany, because we've been working together for quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, the entire team enjoys working with you. Aww. When we are at team meetings, we'll, we'll, you know, talk about our clients and things like that. And we'll often use teacher Tiffany, right? We'll say teacher Aww. Tiffany this or teacher Tiffany that in a very, very good way. So I definitely wanted to spend some time chatting with you today to really let everyone know that is watching how it is to work with Say Yes to Profits and in your feedback from working with the company. So if you could just take a few moments and really introduce yourself and introduce your company to our audience. Sure. Thank you so much for the intro again. And um, hello, everyone. Again, as Octavia said, my name is Tiffany and my business name is Teacher Tiffany. Um, I am an English teacher. I started off my business teaching English online. I have an online English academy and I have a YouTube channel called Speak English with Tiffany. But my business in general is all about teaching. I love to teach people and help people achieve their goals and live life um, confidently, whether it be speaking in public or even doing things other than speaking in public. So my focus is really on helping people learn and enjoy life. And I'm doing it right now as an English teacher. Yes, yes, yes. And you're phenomenal at it as well. Oh, Even sometimes you. when I'm writing my messages, I'm like, you know, because I kind of write how I talk sometimes. So I'm like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm writing a message to teacher Tiffany. Let me try to make sure this is good. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to worry, honestly, because I do the same thing. When I'm talking to my students, I kind of edit what I say. But in reality, I speak just like you. <laughs> so it's totally okay. It's totally okay. Different. So we're here. We're here. We're, we're on the same page. We're all on the same page. Good, good, good. So if you can tell the audience, how did we meet? How did we, how did we become aware of each other? So it's interesting. So you and I, we're both a part of a business group and it's um, what um, we should all be millionaires. And I had actually just joined We Should All Be Millionaires, the group, and they had, I think it was the second month or maybe the first month I had joined, they had a meeting where they were going to allow the business owners within the group to kind of have a, a private chat rooms. And we literally just ended up in the same chat room and same uh, Zoom like breakout room. And in that breakout room, everyone was kind of describing their businesses and talking about themselves. And that's how I met you. I heard you talk about your business and literally what you said was exactly what I had been looking for. So that's how I initially met you and the rest is history. Yeah. And you, it's funny that you mentioned that because I had just joined the group as well. I think I was oh. only there maybe a month, maybe. So we must've joined I, the same time. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. I, <laughs> I knew of course how we met, but I didn't know we both had joined at the exact same time. Talk about divine timing. Come on now. I didn't know if we were going to get into God's goodness, but I was like, yeah. I have to hold it back. Can I let it come out? Okay. Oh, no, yeah. you can let it all come out because that God is the good. foundation of how I do everything in life yes. and business. So, wow. Yeah. I think this question is going to come up later, but since you brought it out, I wanted to add to that because Octavia, even though you and I met in that meeting, and you mentioned like divine intervention. I had been praying, I guess, inevitably about you and your team for more than a year because I could see that my business was growing and I knew that I needed what your team offered. And I said, God, you know, I need you to show me the individual because I've always felt and I still feel to this day that this is not my business. This is God's business that he's placed in my hands and I need to make sure that I run it in a way that honors him. So I said, God, if this is your business, you have to make the team. You need to show me who to go to. You need to show me who the right individual is and the right company is. And literally, when we met, I felt the Holy Spirit say, this is your girl. And wow. yeah, <laughs> so that's what happened, honestly. You know, that that gives me chills because one of the things I pray about mm 
mm. is that place me in a place where the people are that you've called me to serve and allow me to serve them in the way that represents you, yeah. right? Yes. So to hear <laughs> that, yes. wow. And I know, you know, you've shared, you know, this, I don't know if you've shared it as in depth, but you've shared mm. this with me before, but it's just, it's amazing because for you to pray that, and then I'm on the end and I'm praying, I want to serve those you've called me to serve and, and all of this. And it just comes to yes. Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes. I know. It's like, man, yes, Lord. God is good. He's truly Come good. On, somebody. Wow. Yeah. He is okay. Ooh, back on topic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, that just that just spoke to me for a minute. But mm, amazing, good. amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, what challenges were you facing before working with the team at Say Yes to Profits that made you feel like now was the time for an accountant, a virtual CFO, or 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 mm -hmm. something? What kind of what was that? Tell me a little bit about that. So there were uh, a multitude of things, but if I were to narrow them down to about five things, the first thing I was struggling with was not knowing kind of a detailed breakdown of all my product revenue. So because of the uh, industry I'm in as an English teacher, I have to have many different streams of revenue in order to make money and be sustainable. So I have a YouTube channel, I have an academy, I have courses, I have eBooks. And what was happening was, yes, I'd see the quote unquote lump sum in my account, but I needed to know details like, well, which one is making the most money or the least amount of money so that I, as a business owner, would know where I needed to focus my attention. And that's one of the main things I was struggling with. The second thing I was struggling with was um, I really wanted a, a better financial picture, like kind of future. Um I enjoy organizing things. So I think that's something that me as a, as a teacher, students recognize, like I love making plans. I love making sure everything is organized. I'm really meticulous. And I wanted that also for my business. I wanted to see, okay, Tiffany, like in, in five years, where do you want your business to be? Well, in order to do that, you need to know where your business is right now and where it was last year. And I didn't have that data. So I didn't know how to analyze it. Um, the third thing was I needed to become an LLC. And I'm not going to lie to you, Octavia. <laughs> Whenever I looked into it, I was like, this is, this is a lot. This, it, it, it was just a little bit overwhelming because there were so many quote unquote loop, not loopholes, but so many different steps. Yeah. And when you're trying to run your business, it's hard to take your mind off of what you're doing to do something else. And then there's this feeling of maybe there'll be a mistake or maybe I won't do the right paperwork. Um, and at that time, um, prior to coming to say yes to profits, I had an, uh, a tax accountant just for my taxes. Mm -hmm. Great guy. Loved him. Even when I told him I was coming to you, he said, congratulations, your business is growing. So he was happy as well. He's a great guy. And, um, he kept telling me, he said, Tiffany, your revenue is increasing. Every time I would go to him, he said, it's time for you to become an LLC because you need these tax write-offs mm -hmm. and you're not getting them as a sole proprietor. Mm -hmm. So I realized that was something that I was struggling with. Um, the fourth one was my bookkeeper at the time was with QuickBooks. They have a, a mm -hmm. bookkeeper service. I loved her. She, I think she was Ukrainian. She lived in America, but I think she was Ukrainian. Sweet lady. And I could tell that if I just had her not through QuickBooks, that she could have done more for me because even in our meetings, she would say things like, okay, Tiffany, this is something that would help you. So she was great. But I could tell that she knew I needed more than she was able to give me through QuickBooks. And I was getting to the point where I needed to move on, not because of her ability, but because of QuickBooks through her. I only had her an hour a month and I couldn't really contact her for real throughout the month. So I knew I was needing another bookkeeper. And um, finally, I was increasing in revenue, my business, and it was happening a little bit faster. Like I was doubling my revenue each year mm -hmm. and I knew, okay, you don't manage $100,000 in the same way, for example, you'd manage $300,000. And I knew that I needed to get someone on my team or hire someone that was very knowledgeable of numbers and how to manage them as a business. So those are the five main things that I was struggling with prior to coming to Say Yes to Profits. Ah, okay. So after we had our discovery session and when we had our discovery session, I felt like we were just, 
what I love the way our discovery session was because even though, you know, we were going over the services and I were asking you questions about your business, I honestly felt like we were just kind of connecting. It was like, yeah. this is yeah. what I do. And we were talking about different things. So it was, it was like a connection from the beginning, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> but what made you ultimately say yes to working with us? Mm. Okay, so I wrote down some specific things that made me say yes. I want to tell you this because maybe I haven't told you this part before. So there was one thing that I had that I was apprehensive about. It had nothing to do with you. I absolutely loved you during the meeting. I told my family about you. I said, she's amazing. Like, I had a great feeling about you. My one apprehension at the very beginning was I was growing as a business. And at the beginning, again, I was thinking about money. Like, okay, can I ma manage my money to make sure I have enough? This is something I definitely need. And, you know, as you're growing your business, business coaches and business people tell you, Money is not the issue. If the person is giving you exactly what you need, you have to be business smart. So I was thinking about that and I literally prayed again. Again, I said before, God is the one that's leading this business. I said, God, right now I have the money. I had a lump sum of money because I had just launched a product. I had a, a lump, lump sum of money, but it wasn't guaranteed that moving forward, I would have that amount each month, which was my concern. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I did tell you this. Mm -hmm. And... I remember like it was yesterday. I was standing in my um in my room, looking out the window, talking to God. And I said, God, she's amazing. She's offering exactly what I need. And I have the money right now, but I'm not sure about next month. And the verse in the Bible that says, don't worry about tomorrow. Today's cares are enough. And I said, okay, God, the message is clear. <laughs> he said, don't worry about tomorrow. I've given you what you've been praying for. Move forward. I'll give you everything you need moving forward. And fast forward, we were, we've been working together for several months and every month God has given me what I needed. And yes, so that is the first reason why I decided to go with you. Um, wait, 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 wait. I didn't know about the window scene. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I told her about that. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know, you know about what? that. You, pro you know why I probably hadn't said it? Because after our first meeting, I don't know if you remember saying, hey, I need about a week or two. I, I'll think yes. Yes. So when I say that to a business owner, the only thing I'm doing that for is for the next two weeks, I talk to God. That's literally what I do. So uh, you and I spoke a few days ago about a potential lawyer that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. The only reason I'm spending a two week period is it's God's business. So I yeah. need the Holy Spirit to speak to me. I need oh, him to give me. So I have my ideas of, hey, maybe this is a red flag. Maybe this is a green flag. Lord, what do you think? So I'm right. processing everything and letting the Holy Spirit lead. So that's for me, whenever I'm, about to hire someone or work with someone or potentially have someone, you know, accept me as a client, I ask God. So that's what happened. So I, during that two week period, I was talking to God. That's when the window scene happened. And yeah, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Because you know what, as I mentioned before, we kind of just flowed during the discovery session to the point where, where I wasn't even staying on cue with my question so we're, <laughs> we were just flowy and then when it when we finished I'm like oh yes oh I want her remember I told you I was like I wanted you to become a client so yes. when we when we went through the waiting period I'm like what happened <laughs> I enjoyed talking to her like where did she go and to know the backstory it, it's the pretty cool because I was like I want I want her <laughs> Krista our our accounting manager I was like Krista I have the perfect client for you I want her to say yes I don't know what's taking so long but I'm hoping she says yes so to hear that that that's pretty cool that's pretty that's cool. really what it is and it's it's nice to know, well, not nice to know. So I debate whether in the midst of that two week period, do I let the person know like, oh no, I think I'm going to go with you, but I just need to get approval from my boss first. That's literally what's happening. Right. Exact, right now I'm in this two week period praying about the lawyer. I feel like definitely yes. And I think that God will say yes as well, but I always wait because I'm like the Holy spirit needs to lead. It's not about me. I want right. to know what he's saying. So Yes. So yeah, I had a good feeling from the very beginning as well. So oh, okay. I honestly don't think you you should let the person know because we can sometimes think we know the answer, but yet that may not be the answer, no matter how it feels to us. So I think yeah. allowing they just like me, you can wait, right? If it's for you, it's for you, right? Exactly. So I think the person just waiting, 
And because yes. as a business owner, you know yourself, when we get the yes, we're just, we're happy to and grateful to receive the yes, whether the exactly. yes was today or two weeks from now, it's the yes. So I don't think, I think that should be a relationship and a connection with you and God yeah. and allow him to direct that, even though you feel like yeah. that's, that's a yes. That just yeah. my opinion. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I agree. I 100% agree with you. Um, now I know those that are listening that, I guess I'll give them some other like um, other reasons if they're not necessarily going to ask God at the at the end um, of the conversation. The other thing, so for me, what I felt, you know, when I took it to the table with God, what I felt and the reason why I wanted to go with you all was first, you seemed like such a genuine person, genuine person. Like I say seemed at that point because I didn't know you, but I know you now. I'm like, yeah, you are a genuine person. And I think as business owners, you know, you're, you're never sure if someone is really showing their true side because they want to work with you and need your money or really it's who they are. Mm -hmm. But from the very beginning, even in the business meeting, the group meeting we had um, from our business coaching, mm -hmm. you just seem so genuine and like a nice person. So that really had an effect on me. Um, I realized we had similar values, the way you respected your clients from the way you spoke about your business and your passion for what you do. And that's always a good sign for me. When, when someone is passionate about what they are doing, they're always going to give 110% because they're passionate about it. And I could tell that from you. And for those listening, you don't have to doubt at all, like 100% passionate about what she does. Um, and also, your business honestly checked off every box, everything that I needed, literally. It was like one package. I didn't have to go find a bookkeeper. I didn't have to find a business coach. Or I didn't have to find financial, everything I needed, your business offered. So those are the three reasons outside of praying to God that I, I chose you all. Yay. Well, thank you so much for being a client. So yeah. to deep dive into that a little bit more, tell me how has the team here at Say Yes to Profits, how have we helped you get your finances in order? How have we helped you increase your cash flow? And I always have to ask, how have we helped you say yes to profit? All right. So Man, there are so many things I want to say, but I'm trying to hold them till later on in the conversation that you're going to ask me another question. So I'll hold back the other stories I have. Um, <laughs> first is future proofing. And that's something um, you, I can tell you really focus on for your clients, which is, again, something I needed. And it really helps when you can see the actual numbers. And then when you have an individual who's exceptional when it comes to accounting and numbers show you, if we keep this current trend, this is what it will be like in three, four five months. And it has helped me know how to take action in the moment because I can see what's going to quote unquote happen a few months from now from the projections you've given. And that's really been amazing. That has affected my decisions and for example, I've had certain things that I was doing. I was working on, say, four projects. This is a conversation we had, maybe about the third or fourth conversation we had. And you emphasized focusing on, I think you said three or four things. Because at that time, I had so many products. And you said, mm -hmm. Tiffany, they all are amazing. However, if you want your business to grow, it's important to focus on, I think, three to five things. And that meeting really affected me. And it has had an amazing effect on the revenue coming into my business because at that time it was very piecemeal. $100 here, $1,000 there. Now it's three main sources of income and the floodgates just opened up from when we first started to right now. So yes, um, future proofing that really helped change my mindset and allowed me to earn more revenue by focusing in on my clients in the way that you told me to. Mm -hmm. um, the other one that I still talk about to this day, even to my family when I'm talking about you, in good ways, of course, is about um, business advice and scaling. We had a conversation and currently I offer courses and memberships and I was only offering them on a monthly basis. And one time we were talking, and I think this was before the war, um, but one time um, we were, sorry, the Russian and Ukrainian war for those um, listening later, we were talking and you asked me, you said, Tiffany, why don't you offer your students a yearly membership or a lifetime membership? This was right after the war. So the Ukrainian and Russian war happened and my business took a huge hit. For those listening, I almost lost two thirds of my income from one stream because I had Russian students and they all were taken away basically because of sanctions. 
So it was a very, very difficult time. And we had a meeting and I was in panic mode as far as trying to figure out what to do, not panicking on the phone, but trying to figure out as a business owner. And you said, Tiffany, why don't you offer a yearly plan and a lifetime plan? And I explained to you, you know, I have students from all around the world. And for many of them, $30 is too much a month. And you listened, you, you listened, said, I understand, I understand. But amongst those students, you probably have some that are not struggling financially and they'd be willing to pay you mm -hmm. if you gave them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I remember where I was standing and I said, okay. And literally at that moment, God said, why did you ask for someone to be added to your team if, if they give you advice, you don't follow it? I said, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> literally in the conversation, this happened, right? Because I wasn't going against, I was so concerned about my students. Right. That's where I was coming from. Right. And God was saying, literally, listen to what she's saying. She knows what she's talking about. I said, okay. And I started offering, I updated my sales page and Octavia, honestly, when the war happened, I lost two thirds of my income from one revenue stream. Mm -hmm. Now it's almost tripled from that on a consistent basis because of the advice you gave relating to offering higher ticket items. So it's like, you're an accountant, you're a CFO, but you're a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like you give the, the business advice as well. So Yes, profits have increased, cash flow has increased. And um, yes, the last thing I think that is really sticks out outside of many other things is the tax preparation and smart tax decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, as a business owner, you know, and I think you've mentioned this to me before about the state of my business as far as it being healthy, right? There are good profits and everything. Yeah. yeah. But you've increased that so much and you've also helped me realize that I can either give the government this money mm -hmm. or I can use it to spend within my business and actually increase and improve the products I'm actually providing to my, um, my clients. So it's been a total mindset shift, increase in profits. I'm experiencing it right now, but I also am able to see even further ahead how my business will be able to get to the million dollar mark so much faster because of the advice and your team. So Yes, it truly has helped a lot. Your uh, company has helped a lot. Yes, 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 yes. And I even wanted to deep dive on, on your first point where you mentioned having, having three or four services or things that you focus on. For everyone that is listening, what she's referring to, a lot of times as business owners, we have great ideas, right? And they're amazing. And, and and they are things that we should do at some point. I think I even mentioned this to you, Tiffany, there are yep. things that we should do at some point, but sometimes you can stretch yourself too thin yeah. and everything not work out the way you desire it to work out. So sometimes you have to place yourself in, I call them now like focus buckets, right? Focus yep. areas. So for your business, you should have at least three to four revenue streams from within your business. Normally, I, I teach my clients four for the most part yeah. from within your business that you laser focus on and get those profitable and, and making sure enough cash is coming in. And then if you want to, those things on the outside, they're added extra things. But until you get these three or four things really honed in, focused and perfected as much as possible, you may have to delay the other things that you have in mind. So that's exactly what, what Tiffany was mentioning. And as you can see, focusing on those three or four, three, three or four things in the midst of an economic challenge, yeah. things that are happening in the world, her business, while it took a step back, Mm -hmm. Let's just say it took a step back to take five steps forward. Come right? on now. So Come on, five steps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so please talk about your, which honestly, you've been doing that so far. I love your stories. It just, it brings the picture, the clear picture to mind, right? Mm -hmm. But please talk about your experience with working with the team at Say Yes to Profits. Because it's not just me, right? That is on your Thanks. team. So just talk about your your overall experience. Okay. So since I've already talked about you, I'll make you the last story. Okay. Um, I'll start I'll start with um, Krista, the bookkeeper. Now, before Krista, um, I also worked with another bookkeeper and she was amazing. So they've both been amazing. Krista, 
man, I mean, I just smile when I think about it when we have to have our meetings, you know, once a month. I love Krista because as a business owner, when you are looking for a bookkeeper, the main thing you need is someone that is on top of their game, that has their I's dotted, their T's crossed. They know where the numbers are, where they go in the right categories, things that you as a business owner do not want to worry about. And I'll be very honest. I'll put a message. Uh, we use Slack, as you mentioned earlier. I think you mentioned earlier. No, you didn't mention that. But Slack is the communication platform. And I'll send her a message saying, hey, I just uploaded a receipt or, hey, I just added something. You know, I, I give an explanation of what I did, whether it was a, a going out to eat or something. Her responses are so fast. She takes kicks. Like, I got it. Don't worry. And she just always seems so bubbly, even bubbly. in a text message. <laughs> so every time I get a message, I'm usually smiling when she responds to the messages. But there's this peace of mind and this appreciation that she is doing the work so well. Now I don't have to. So I am a numbers person. Like I actually enjoy numbers. I enjoy organizing things. I didn't go into finance, but I went into computers. So I have that side, that, that side mm -hmm. of my brain also is active. But the fact that I can now turn it off, it's something that happens when you can turn it off. Like before I, I wouldn't turn it off. I needed to make sure I knew where every number was, which even when we first met, I think you could tell that I was really particular about things because I've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. But I've been noticing over the last few months, literally watching quote unquote myself, it's like, Finally, I can let go. I can let somebody else take care of my numbers. She has everything organized. I don't have to worry if I'm going out on a trip, if I'm doing something for my business. I know for a fact that my bookkeeper has everything under control. Mm -hmm. So that has really given peace of mind. So yes, Krista, Krista, if you listen to this later, thank you, girl. <laughs> I appreciate her. Um, then All right, you're gonna get Krista a bonus, okay? <laughs> <laughs> get that money, honey. So yes, um. And then Jordan. Jordan, I think, joined the team maybe uh, two months, three months ago. I'm not sure the exact timing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she's also a joy. You know, um, I know she's usually just kind of letting me know, you know, hey, Tiffany, would you like to schedule a meeting with Octavia? Or she's just very professional. And I really appreciate that. And that also is reflective on you because you had to choose the people that are on your team. And I feel like people on our team have a, are a reflection of us in many Absolutely. respects. Absolutely. So, it's, she's just very professional. Like it's just been very pleasant interacting with her, even though it's just scheduling meetings or keeping updated. Like how has this month been going? Um, I don't think anybody else I have contact with. I think it's just the three, Krista, mm -hmm. Jordan, and you. Yep. And now we come to you <laughs> and I've given so many stories already, but the one story I want to say about you is deal. This happened less than a month ago, I think. So Going back to the uh, beginning, uh, well, a few moments ago, we were talking about the four, I guess, buckets or the four kind of streams of income. Mm -hmm. And one that I was interested in doing at the very beginning we met was teaching vocabulary on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And that was the one that kind of sat on the back burner for a while. But now after, you know, now the streams of income are kind of, you know, increasing as far as the revenue. And I kind of have this time to, okay, let me add this other thing. And I... I think, I don't know if I called you or I asked, could we have a conversation? You said, yes. And we called, we spoke on the phone and I ran this idea by you where I wanted to do, you know, daily English vocabulary emails. And I was explaining it to you, very passionate about it. And I said, yes, every day the students will get it. And I said, it's going to be a subscription. And I kind of reached the climax, right? I said, I'm going to charge $5 a month. <laughs> and there was a silence on the phone. And I was like, oh, okay. And then you said, I like the idea, Tiffany. I really do. I like the idea. I said, okay, what am I hearing? What am I hearing? And we both kind of chuckled a little bit because you said, are you sure $5 a month is what you want to charge? And I was like, well, I went right back to my students. You know, I don't want them to, you know, have to pay a lot of money if they can't afford it. And you went through this for like the next two or three minutes, you kind of opened my eyes to the fact that my students already trust me. And they already see value in my lessons. So don't devalue myself in the sense of trying to take care of them when they are willing to invest in me. Basically, like, it's okay not to worry about them if they'll invest in you. So you suggested a higher price. I think you suggested, like, let's, what about 10? Let's start with 10. I said, okay. Got off the phone. Once again, Holy Spirit said, I told you to listen to her. 
It's like a little voice on my shoulder. You can listen. It's okay. So I went to set everything up and I said, you know what? She said 10. Okay. So I'm going to, cause I knew you were meaning a higher price, but mm -hmm. you were trying to also be understandable of where I was, which I really, again, goes back to the very beginning. There's a respect level. Like I really appreciate that about you. Like you respect your clients and you don't push. You just kind of present something, let them kind of think about it. And then you go a little further until they've adjusted to the idea. And I really appreciate that about you. Um, and I was thinking about it and I said, you know what? No, like I know Octavia wants me to do higher. So I offered $10 as the entry coupon price or like special price for a 48 hour period. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, $20 eventually. And I think within the first day, I think the first day, like 10 students signed up, right? And it was a hundred dollars a month. And I was so excited because that would have been $10 a month. Exactly. And I actually messaged you and mm -hmm. you were like, yes, this is a good sign. And it was just like, this is my CFO, but she's just as excited about me having a, getting a win than as if it was hers. And needless to say, fast forward in a short period of time, that number increased so much because of the advice you gave. So my experience has been amazing and I've really appreciated it. And that's just, again, one situation. So yeah. Yay. Yay. And I'll talk about our experience as well, working with you. And I mentioned this to you before. One of the things I love about working with you is that you challenge me in a really great way to rise up. Right. Mm -hmm. So nothing is perfect. And there have been some things that we needed to fix as the CFO firm for Tiffany. Mm -hmm. And I love how you will bring that to my attention. Mm -hmm. And it helps me to see from your viewpoint, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if I'm always looking from, okay, I'm the, the, the virtual CFO, then maybe from the client side, I'm missing some things. And I think I mentioned to you earlier, it allows me to then put myself in your shoes mm -hmm. and say, okay, what well, this was me, as she said, I would want it like this, or I would want it like that. So let me go back and let me go back and think about this. Let me pray about this. Let me figure out how mm -hmm. we make this better. Because if I was in her shoes, mm -hmm. I would want this as well, or I would want that as well. And I love working with you because of that, because you're not just like, Yes, everything is roses. It's like, okay, now this is roses and this is roses and this may be roses too, but what about this? Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. that's the part that we as an accounting firm may not think about in great detail that it should be in a way that benefits the client. So some of the things that you and I have discussed mm -hmm. and we've adjusted and improved because of you have mm -hmm. greatly impacted other clients here at Say Yes oh, good. To Profit. Absolutely. I'm so happy. Yes. So I want to thank you for that. I know we talked about this before and I, you know, mentioned it, but I don't think I had mentioned that because of your feedback, your honest feedback, because I asked for that, because I want that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because of your honest feedback, our clients have benefited from some of those. So thank you and keep them coming. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that because like you said, I do remember one of our first conversations, you mentioned like, hey, I want honest feedback. And whenever I've had to contact you about something, I've thought about it for a long time, thought about it, prayed about like, how do I present this? Because I want to make sure she understands like, man, this is already great. This little thing, if we can tweak it just a bit, it would be even greater. And going back to the very beginning, you're such a genuine person. I'm so happy to hear that your other clients are now realizing the efforts that you're putting into it because you can't fake genuineness. Like you can't fake it at all. And the fact that you're so genuine, I'm just very happy to hear that your other clients are also benefiting from all that you're doing. So yeah, happy. yeah, it was funny. One of the things that you and I had talked about that you wanted to see us improve on um, and it was impacting your business. We started to do it and I had, another client that messaged us and was like, Hey, I love that. And, and I was telling Krista, I was like, this change is because of the conversation I had with Tiffany. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. That is good. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that.
Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. Of course. So I always like to ask, how has the growth of your business impacted your life, your family's life? Like how has it impacted you in a great way or how, not even a great way. How has it impacted your life overall? Let's just say that. So it's impacted my life greatly. So, um, as you know, probably when you start a business, you are working morning until night, like you're working all hours. When I first started my business, I was working literally 18 hour days, except for, so Saturday is the day I take a break. That's my rest day, go to church and everything. That's the day I don't. Right. Yeah. But outside of that day, <laughs> I was working, like going to bed at midnight, waking up at four or 5 AM. So I was, wasn't making enough money in the very beginning of my business. Fast forward to when we met, I was making more money. It was getting to that point, right? But again, since working with you, again, double, like I've, I've continued to increase my revenue per month. And what has happened is I have an assistant and now I'm not concerned about if I'll be able to pay her every month. I know that I'll be able to pay her. What that does is give, give me peace of mind. Now I have time to spend time. I have nieces. I can spend time with my nieces. I can spend time with my family, go out with my friends. Prior to this time, my friends knew like Tiff is just always busy. Like I had to run this business, but now because the revenue increased, I have a life basically. I can actually live my life and the business is running smoothly. Everything is, is fine. And I don't have this constant concern. I'm still aware of the amount of money coming in and I want more to come in, but that level of concern has really decreased and it's really helped me to enjoy my life even more. Um, I've been able to hire more teachers. So I have a program. Have you ever heard of the book? Who, not how mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the book is absolutely amazing. And it talks about, instead of trying to solve your problems on your own, figure out who can do what you need to be done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a business owner, that sounds great, but you know, you need money in order to get that who, right. whoever it is. Right. So I've been able to, I have a, product that I wanted to improve on for my students. Mm -hmm. Initially, I was going to be the one teaching extra classes, but that would take me away from other things that I need to do for the business. Right. So because of the increased revenue, now I have two extra teachers doing what I was supposed to be doing, but now they're doing it. And the students are just as happy. Yeah. Like my students, they're like, yeah, we love them. And it's actually, they get another opportunity to meet someone else outside of me. So it's helped me to increase revenue. I'm sorry, the increased revenue has helped me to increase my team, build my team even more. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, personal time with family, not worrying about paying my assistants, um, hiring teachers and yeah, having more more free time, to be honest. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We can't do it all as business owners. We we need a team, right? It's true. We, we can't. True. We I, I remember doing this uh, YouTube video and a couple of Instagram reels about being the bottleneck. And oftentimes as business owners, we will become the bottleneck of our company. And we, we, we're like, well, why, why is it not growing? It's because of you get out your own way <laughs> <laughs> and allow someone to help you yeah. and you will see the growth in your business. And, and, and that's basically what you just mentioned. And you also talked about peace. And I often teach about having financial peace of mind. Yes. And it's really, I'm so grateful to hear the financial peace of mind, which has led to peace in other areas and your ability to now spend more time with your friends. And they're like, Tiffany is always missing in action. And now Tiffany is always there in action. <laughs> like that's, that's amazing. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Yay. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So what would you share with anyone that is listening who they're considering working with say yes to profits, but they may be on the fence a little bit. What mm -hmm. would you share with them? Okay. So I'm going to speak to you, the person listening or watching. Mm -hmm. um, first fact, it's a one-stop shop for all of your financial needs as a business. And that's again, what led me to say yes to profits as the business to say yes to you all, because literally it's everything you need. You need a bookkeeper. They have that. You want to know how to financial proof your business. We have like future proof you, everything you need, literally a CFO. It's literally a virtual CFO for your business. So that's the first thing you need a virtual CFO and you're tired of doing anything, dealing with the finances, come to say yes to profits. Um, the other thing is 
the value provided far surpasses the cost. And I remember in the very beginning, like I had told you that that was my concern. Mm -hmm. Not that you didn't offer what I needed. It was that I wasn't sure I was going to have enough revenue every month to carry me to make sure I could pay for these services that were being provided. And that's when God was saying, don't worry, I'll take care of it. So now when I'm looking back, if I hadn't, just hypothetically, if I hadn't signed up with you all, I don't think I'd be where I am right now. No, I know for a fact I wouldn't be where I am right now because so many things that have happened stemmed from the conversations you and I have had, stemmed from the monthly meetings where you showed me, hey, this is where your business is. This is where your business needs to be. These are the numbers, like all of the breakdowns that were provided during the monthly meetings or even um, messages in Slack saying, hey, Tiffany, just wanted to give you a heads up. This is something. If I hadn't had all of that, I wouldn't be where I am today. So the value provided far surpasses the cost per month. So that is one thing. Um, the team is passionate about what they're doing. I literally was reading last night, the book, Good to Great. Mm -hmm. And it was talking about, and I love that I highlighted it in the book. He was talking about what's more important. It's not about focusing the way he said it, when you're trying to become a great company, instead of focusing on the destination, First, focus on your team. He said, because your team will help you get to wherever you need to go. But if you focus on your destination, you have the wrong team, it's not going to work. And I thought about you all, you, uh, you as the leader of your company and then your team. Everyone seems to be passionate about what they're doing. So even when, like you mentioned earlier, there are things you had to pivot, you had to add some things. The team worked together to make it happen Absolutely. because you have the right team. And I think that is very evident. When clients can see that, hey, the person I've hired, the people that work around him or her in this situation, you are happy to do their job. That has a big effect on the client as well. Um, because again, it shows a lot about the CEO. It shows a lot about the business owner. Like, hey, these people are happy to work with her. That's a good sign. So that was one thing. And then if you're looking for peace of mind, definitely. Like there's a peace of mind that I have right now that I, on a daily basis, I'm like, man, God, thank you so much. Like, I don't have to worry about so many things. Like used in the past when tax time came around, I was like, oh my Lord, it's tax time. Like, it's just, you didn't look forward to it. And mm -hmm. now I just have peace of mind. I'm like, yeah, it's tax time. I'm okay. Like, I don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's, yeah, it's, um, one one thing about tax time. So our, our last conversation, and we're kind of in conversations now for mm -hmm. those watching at the time we're recording this. Um, Octavia actually had given me, you know, the amount of money I need to spend. Strategically. If I don't want to go. Strategically, mm -hmm. right? She mm -hmm. said, you got it. Strategically, even telling me, right? Make a list. Tiff, I'll review the list. So many things, Octavia. You didn't just kind of release me to the wolves. You said, okay, make your list. Send me the list. I'll review it. Let you know what percentage is going to be tax, mm -hmm. like all, tax write offable. I'm going to make up a word. <laughs> um, and even in that, I'm like, I don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do that research. Octavia's taking care of it. And even in that, it's like, it's amazing to know that I don't have to worry about that. And yeah, honestly, that is something that I feel like every business owner desires. So if you're not at the point right now, it's okay. Just know that when you are at the point, you already know where to go. Say yes to profits. So. Yes, yes. Hey. This interview, <laughs> I'm literally sitting over here, like literally holding back tears. I am like, oh my All right. God. Let them flow. It's okay. I just finished crying on one of my classes. I'm like, what in the world? But it's- <laughs> Right, that's what I'm like, what in the- I have done a lot of these, but- Wow. Yeah. You know what? And mm. just being totally transparent in this moment. Yeah. I love this. Mm. Like when I tell you the whole say it, I love it. Yeah. And I always, always, always pray to have an impact, right? Mm. And to hear everything that you just mentioned, it's like. Yeah. You know, you're on you, the right path. It, if you don't know what you're supposed to like, I'm I'm like having this this conversation. Like, if you ever had a question on if you're doing the right thing, mm, mm. <sighs> no questions. Honestly, like I told my sister yesterday about you yesterday too. I said my sister's name is Simona. She's a lawyer, not the lawyer that I need. That's why I haven't gone with her. But 
I was telling her, I said, Simona, because when I first signed up with you, again, I, I talked to my family. And I were really close. So I was talking to God, talking to my family and friends. And I was telling her, I said, man, who else can I tell about Say Yes to Profits? Like I was trying to think of other business owners because I know other business owners. I'm like, no, not, not to tell them, no, your accountant's not bad. But your accountant is not <laughs> Say Yes to Profits. And it's like trying to, it's so hard to put into words sometimes, Octavia, what your business offers. It's, it's, it's hard to, when someone hasn't experienced it, it's hard to put it into words. And I think that's what happened in the very beginning. Remember I said, you checked off everything. Even though you checked off everything, it was like, I was experiencing it in the moment each month. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Like every month I'm like, oh, oh, wow. And then it was just like, yep, <laughs> I'm fine. Like every, I'm okay. Like everything is good. So I think I just really want to help other people. And I guess I'll say this here. It's okay. I'm planning to start like a business channel, like a YouTube business channel, just where I tell people like you and I spoke about this product mm -hmm. that I've been using mm -hmm. notion, right? Mm -hmm. And there are so many things that I've learned. I'm like, man, this is so helpful. I just want to help people. I literally love helping people. And on the list of things I want to tell people about is say yes to profits. And I was like, maybe I need to ask Octavia if she's ready for the blessing that God's going to bring. Cause if God brings a thousand clients, like, are you ready for it? Like, I'm excited to tell other people because it's helping me so much. And it just, it's like, I don't have to go anywhere else about finances at all. Like I'm totally fine. And oh. I mean, taxes, everything. So God is good. I look, I was trying to keep talking to give you an opportunity <laughs> to have your eye. So those listening, that's what's happening right now. Oh. <laughs> so yes, God is good. And I, I, yeah, this is not a paid, this is not a paid sponsorship for those listening. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not getting no, is, nothing. It's just reality. It's just the this, truth. I'm so caught off guard right now. I don't, oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> yes. You're doing what God has called you to do, sis. You're doing what God has called you to do. Okay. I'm trying to get it together. It's um, all right. It's all right. Look, I was about to start singing, but I realized this is an interview. <laughs> Well, Kristen and I already said, I love to just listen to, we're, we're doing payroll. And she said, teacher Tiffany, she just starts singing. And I'd be like, she says, well, sometimes I'll just slow down. <laughs> oh, oh, Tiffany. Oh, goodness. It's Nobody, funny. a client never has made me cry before, Tiffany. Oh, well, look, I'm glad they're happy tears. <laughs> I am too. Um, Okay. Bring it all back together. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. For everything. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get off and have me a big old cry over there. <laughs> <laughs> God is good. God thank is really you, good. Thank you, Tiffany. I yeah. thank you so much. In closing, I yeah. want everyone listening to find out more about you, more about yeah. your business. So, Please, in closing, share any other thoughts that you have and please let our audience know how do they find out more about your phenomenal company. Okay. Um, so I'll kind of wrap up the last thing I was saying about your business and then I'll just add a little bit about mine. Um, but again, for those listening, just to summarize everything that has been said during this interview, this conversation, um, I mentioned earlier, I prayed for more than a year that God would send me an accountant. And the Bible talks about that he'll give you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask or even think about. And he literally did that. So I believe that God is the one that appointed me to say yes to prophets, the team. So that has been my experience. So for you, again, for the person listening or watching, you're trying to get your finances in order. You're tired of being frustrated. You want to maximize your tax breaks, anything financial. And you're looking for a CFO. You don't have to look anymore. Say yes to profits is literally the answer that you've been looking for. Um, and for me, I'll keep it short because this is about say yes to profits. And I'm okay with that. Um, again, if you want to find out more about me, currently I am teaching English online. You can go to speakenglishwithtiffany.com. That's T-I-F-F-A-N-I. -F -F again, speakenglishwithtiffany.com. And if you have any questions, if you want to ask me some more, you want me to give you some more information, please feel free. Um, Tiffany at speakenglishwithtiffany.com. Tiffany, T-I-F-F-A-N-I. -F -F -I. Tiffany at speakenglishwithtiffany.com is my email address. 
And yes, I have been blessed by this woman and her team. And I hope you will also be blessed as well. I am going to put all the show notes, um, all the links to Tiffany's website and um, anything else she has shared. I, I'm gonna, I want to get permission about one thing that you mentioned, but I am going to put all of the contact information so that you all can connect with teacher Tiffany. Mm -hmm. And again, Tiffany, I just, I thank you so much for doing this interview um, to give you all a little uh, back, not even a backstory, just a little insight. I, I ask our clients after some time to do these interviews and I never, ever know what they're going to say. And even before the interview, I said, Tiffany, this is just a conversation. It's just a dialogue between us. I, I never know what they're going to say. So to say I'm moved and touched right now is beyond amazing. Um, I thank you so very much for being our client. I pray that it is years to come yeah. in this partnership. And thank you all for watching. And until next time, say yes to profits. Say yes. Bye, everybody. Toodles. <laughs>